This is the outside of the Auto Sleeper Broadway FB. As we move along, we will firstly come to fresh water tank fill just here. So to fill up the fresh water tank, pop this end just into here like so, lock it into place and then slide down to fully lock it into position and then attach this end to a tap and then turn it on. You do need to make sure that the 12 volt is on inside the motorhome and that you've activated water fill and then it will commence filling up the fresh water tank and when the tank is full it will just stop. If you're on a fully serviced pitch you can literally just leave the tap turned on and then as you are using water it will just constantly replenish the fresh water tank. To remove, slide up, squeeze in and pull towards you. To drain the fresh water tank down, it's just done at this point just here. Just remove the dust cap and then just turn. LPG tank fill just here. So just push in and turn and then the dust cover will pop out. Our UK fillers just literally slide over the top of this part just here. And then it's just a matter of rotating a lever around and then pulling that lever towards you to lock it onto the side of the motorhome. Once you've done this, just hold a button down to pop in as many liters as you want or just wait until it clicks off exactly the same as a fuel pump would. To release it, push the lever back, rotate and pull back off again. This central part here is to screw in the Continental adapters. To view how much gas is in the gas tank, you need to come to the driver's side and the gauge is just here. This can only be viewed when the engine is running and you will get a series of green lights and these will slowly deplete as you use your gas. External TV and satellite point just here. And then we have mains hook up just here. Emergency gas control just here. So if we just go underneath, you'll see that the gas tank just sits along here. And then we have the front of it just here. By pulling this lever, this front will drop out and then behind there is a brass tap, no different than what you would find on a propane bottle. You can turn this to isolate the gas. If we slightly move along, we have the regulator itself just here. So within this regulator there is a crash valve. So in the event of an accident, this button here will pop out and it will stop any gas escaping from the gas tank. These can sometimes be triggered if you go over a bump violently. So if you're not getting any gas inside, just make sure that this button hasn't popped out just here. And if it has, just hold it in for about four or five seconds to reset it. As we move along, we have the grey water drain just there, no different than the fresh one, just remove the dust cap to then drain the waste tank down. Spare wheel just here and it winds down where my finger is just here, so within the jack and wheel brace kit there's a bar. Attach the brace to the bar to then wind it down. There is an airline connected up to that spare wheel and the valve is just here. So you can check the tire pressure and top it up if required without dropping the spare wheel. Cassette toilet just here. To remove the cassette, just lift up on the blue lever just here and pull towards you. Before use, remove the cap 
and add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water. This is also where it empties from. Just remember that when emptying, to hold the button in as well as you pour to release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated. Fetford do their own seal lubricant, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. By turning this part here, it gives us access inside the cassette for easy cleaning. If anything was to wrap itself around the float mechanism inside, so it's giving you a false reading that the cassette is always full, this can be removed and cleaned as well just by turning here. All of these cassettes now are on wheels with pull out handles. This motorhome has rear corner steadies. You can see that I have lowered this one just here and then we can lower this one as well to firm up the back end when we're stationary. If you have a bike rack just here to use, just pull the rails down like so, pop the bikes on the rails, secure the straps through the wheels and then attach the arms to the frames. Because this is a low bike rack and if you've got quite large bikes that can obscure the lights, a light board is required like this one just here and it plugs in just here. Access underneath the fixed bed just here. Barbecue point just here. You will see at the moment that the actual barbecue adapter is still attached on a cable tie so remove and then attach the hose of the barbecue to this rib section here and secure it with a jubilee clip. The other end will then plug in where my finger is here to lock into place and it will then allow you to turn the gas on. To remove it just push the collar and it will then release. Beside that we have an external three pin socket. Flue for the Truma boiler. Don't need to do anything with this, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. And then we have both vents for the fridge freezer. At the moment the winter covers are on, which are not required in this very warm weather. So do make sure that they have been removed. These only need to be on if you're using the motorhome in extremely cold climate, because it will make the fridge run efficiently. If you leave them on in the warm months, the fridge will just overheat. Above that are the vents for the microwave. Fresh water into the motorhome at this point as well, so if you don't want to use the whale filler, you can literally just pop a hose pipe in to fill the fresh water tank up just here. This cap can be locked. Wet locker just here. And then we have the rollout canopy just here. The canopy wind out handle is just here. So if we take this and then we pop it in just here and then begin to wind to wind the canopy out. As you can now see, I've wound the canopy out a short distance. The legs are sprung loaded. So if we just push in here, we can then drop the leg down. If we then lift up this gray lever just here, we can then slide the leg down to the ground and then get the height that we require and then push up to lock it into place. And then if we then do it with the other leg, we can then 
lift up the lever again, drop the leg down, and then lock this into place as well. Now we've done this and we've supported the awning, we can continue walking out the legs as we wind the awning out. The awning is now fully wound out. And what we can also do now is pop these sections across and clip them in to give the awning more strength. Diesel fill just here, cap unlocks on the ignition key and then add blue top up just underneath. It will let you know on the dashboard when the add blue needs topping up. Tire pressure's on the door pillar just here. Jack and wheel brace all underneath the passenger seat. Vehicle battery underneath the floor of the cab and bonnet release just here.